happy new year everyone today is uh, a very special day because i am going to restart my channel again i had made a bunch of videos before devi could come into picture and somehow i was not able to edit it or uh, do anything about it for past one year so i thought why not again get back to my channel because uh, she's grown up a little bit now so i have a little bit of time on hand uh, but still not a lot of time but uh, anyways uh, why not so this one year you will be having much of uh, baby videos coming up but along with that we will stick to our skincare uh, for a long long time and we'll see how things go yes i will be making a lot of changes on my channel very soon i will let you know what are those changes but for now i will be posting all the videos which i had made before and uh, get to it so today's video is uh, about a super hydrating serum which i had made for myself for winters uh, last uh, winters in fact and uh, the results were pretty good i really loved it i used it throughout uh, my last year winters and this year winter and it is amazing let me tell you today is uh, no, today we are going to make a super hydrating serum from vegiluron vegiluron is uh, something like a hyaluronic acid but made from mushroom mushrooms so it is basically a vegan product so all those vegans out there be happy you don't have to use an animal product or let's say uh, animal based product uh, for hydrating your skin vegiluron is a great alternative so uh, okay if you don't know what a hyaluronic acid is or want to know more about it i have a blog post i have a video dedicated for that so please go and have a look i think in the description box i will put the link uh, for both the blog post and the video there so go ahead and check that out for today's video let's make some serum this is a non oil based serum so it is non sticky at all means you don't have to worry about stickiness if you have acne prone skin you don't mind Oh please don't mind that is my kid right there uh, calling me out and I'll come back in a minute <laughs> just give me a minute All right I think she also loves the camera so she wants to be here so please do not mind uh, I am a new mommy and uh, I have a lot of things to learn as of now Hello my little baby oh, oh. Okay so getting back to the serum uh the recipe will be on my blog post uh, and of course at the end of the video too meanwhile uh, uh this uh, serum or uh, sorry this vegiluron okay meanwhile the vegiluron which i am going to use is from skin chakra one of my friend named uh, anuradha pant helped me get this serum no uh, sorry not the serum oh this is my mama mind just everywhere <laughs> so anuradha pan thank you so much for sourcing this for me it is a great help and it's a great ingredient in fact she was the one to push me to uh, make a video from this uh, ingredient and uh, have some hydrating serum oh super hydrating serum a little goes a long way i hope you enjoy this chalo let's get to the recipe and uh, see how it works out so for this recipe i'm going to use a borosilicate glass jar this you can purchase from amazon i'll put a affiliate link down below please go ahead and check that out now first you will use uh, either you can use distilled water or demineralized or deionized water for this i'm going to use 17.25 grams of distilled water along with that i'm going to use rose hydrosol for this you can use any hydrosol of your choice but i think rose hydrosol works really well on my skin so i have used that and it's very soothing secondly i'm going to use allantoin at 0.25 grams uh, it is a very good uh, skin care ingredient i don't think i'll make any cream without uh, allantoin Secondly is niacinamide again 0.25 grams of niacinamide in this recipe it is really good uh, ingredient again for your creams lotions anything 
called skin care but it is a pain in the ass to mix in water so I did a mistake I should have uh, warmed this mixture first so that all this uh, mixes out pretty well but that's okay now I'm going to use uh, glycerine uh, around one gram of glycerine in this uh, recipe I have uh, I'm making 50 grams of batch so that's why I'm uh, giving you in grams uh, in my blog post you will have this recipe in percentages also so can you can increase or reduce uh, as per your choice again I said I should have warmed this mixture I wouldn't have to use the strainer here but since uh, I haven't my bad so I'm going to strain it out it just did not occur that time to me I'm going to give it nice mix and uh, leave it for some time so that it mixes out well our next star ingredient is Vegiluron it's an eco certified ingredient from skin chakra I have bought it from skin chakra but you can find other vendors uh, on Google please check that out I do not have a link to other vendors but I'll give you a link for skin chakra this is not a sponsored video I had purchased it with my own money so I'll give you a link direct link over there or you can just go to their website and uh, check that out I think uh, you can also check hyaluronic acid uh, uh, video on my blog post and it will help you to understand what it does nextly I'm going to use dimethicone at 0 0.5 grams dimethicone is a silicon uh, which gives a really nice finish on the skin you can use any other silicone if you wish to but since it's a water based ingredient I stick to dimethicone nextly I'm going to use DL panthenol at 1% that's 0 0.5 grams so for my recipe again this is another pain in the ass ingredient to mix I really wish my that jar gets over and I can buy by powdered uh, panthenol because it really helps to mix uh, very nicely in the ingredient lastly is my preservative I am using here escargot which is a water based ingredient there are two types of escargot in fact you can check out the blog post on this uh, what are the two types I am using a water based uh, escargot over here at 0 0.25 grams and I'll give a good mix you can see over here I haven't used any a thickener because vegiluron itself is a nice thickener and it will give that consistency which I want for my recipe this is a really nice thick ingredient which goes in the bottle and pumps out very well so I am using it uh, just like that I left it out uh, for 24 hours so that all the ingredients mix well and form a nice table mixture I'm going to pour this in a frosted glass jar and I have named this mixture as uh, sorry I have named this recipe as super hydrating uh, face serum you can use it on uh, really uh, dry spots and you will see the magic it is a magical ingredient let me tell you Vegiluron just that by itself is also magical on your skin I really loved it and I love this recipe so I am sharing with you we will see how this mixture acts on the skin too it is really nice and light uh, those who have uh, skin issues during winters uh, this is an apt serum for you it will help you get those uh, dry dryness out of your way and without any oil so that you don't have breakouts or anything it's amazing 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 you will love it and I hope you enjoyed this recipe if you